Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Always, 1776, a free site. Today is January the 21st, 2021. Let's talk about some investments I'm looking at. This should not be construed as investment advice. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now again, this is not investment advice. What I like to do here is talk about things I'm in, things I'm looking at, and hopefully get feedback from you on the investment as well as other opportunities. Right? So, right now, you know, the world isn't limited to Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin's a remarkable investment. But I do believe that there are other great ideas out there, that other things are happening in the world, even though Bitcoin might be a historical investment. Right? As longtime subscribers know, I believe because of the risk of quantum computing to Bitcoin, as well as the adversarial nature that some central banks have to Bitcoin, right? They're rolling out their own digital currencies. Um, as you can imagine, governments want power. They want centralized control over a digital currency. They don't like peer-to-peer. -peer. They don't like decentralized. I believe you need to hedge Bitcoin. At least I'm hedging Bitcoin. Again, you do what you want. But I'm hedging Bitcoin with gold. Gold's been around for centuries. Like Bitcoin, gold has a limited supply. Let me also talk about something that hasn't been talked about enough here. Understand that with decentralized currencies now, you can actually have gold in the form of a cryptocurrency. I would encourage people to look up that possibility, right? But there's more to the world than Bitcoin and gold. There's more to the world than gold miners, right? Whether it's the GDX or gold royalty companies like Metalla, there's more to the world than Bitcoin miners, right? Think HUD-8 mining. Think Riot blockchain, right? What I want people to do right now is to look at an area that's absolutely exploding exploding and that's electric vehicles right they don't have to be autonomous driving right now let's just focus on electric vehicles you and I know that transportation as a service is gonna come faster than we think but let's hold off on autonomous vehicles just for a second because for this conversation it's not germane what I want people to realize is that the price point of EVs is now right around the price point for combustion conventional autos, right? Understand the market is exploding globally. You have a friendly new administration in the United States, the Biden administration, that actually, that, that actually plans to build out charging stations as part of an infrastructure program all throughout the United States. So now people who were curious about electric vehicles, who thought that if they ran out of fuel, they'd be hard pressed to refill, now will have a greater opportunity to refill. Let me also point out too that some car companies, Neo for example, now has a battery subscription service. So until now, we were thinking about the need for technology to make the car go farther on a simple charge. That's one of Tesla's selling points, right? That Tesla was somehow supposed to have some great battery technology on the horizon that was gonna completely revolutionize the space. Folks, the space doesn't need to be revolutionized. Understand, right now, with NEO, an EV producer in China, right, and we're all one global village in my eyes, 
understand that they have a battery subscription service where I pull into the charging station and they'll pop my battery and they'll put in a new one right the battery doesn't have to go two three hundred miles on a single charge I don't have to sit around waiting for the battery to charge up right I can just pull in they pop the battery they put in a new one I'm on a subscription program I'm able to continue going right so understand the viability technologically is here right now right I'll agree it's a nascent industry electric cars have been around forever but the new ones right this is a new world the shift toward slick looking cars like Tesla cars for example that's relatively new no one didn't used to think of electric vehicles as the sexy cars on the road they are now Neo had an investor day a few weeks ago my goodness the cars they unveiled look spectacular right and of course they don't have the pollution that combustion engine cars have so let me just say the space is fast moving I asked myself where should I invest in the past I had owned Tesla but I didn't like the metrics Tesla might be overvalued I don't like the idea of Tesla having a market cap equal to the market cap of everyone else in the space right that's a little bit uncomfortable for me given the relatively small number of cars Tesla sells internationally also a part of Tesla's viability historically is directly tied to government subsidies they receive because of course they're more environmentally friendly than conventional cars right I don't like that I want government pretty much out of the picture when I invest so given how fast things are moving given that there's increased competition now from Europe and China right Mercedes-Benz and others are now in the EV space right I mentioned Neo earlier Neo's not the only EV company in China right the question is how do you pick a winner here how can I invest in the space and be in a place where I can get profits whether it's a Tesla car that sells, a Neo car that sells, an x band car that sells, a Rivian truck that sells. How can I profit regardless of EV brand? Well, let's talk about what's in an EV. Did you know that a conventional car holds only about one-third the copper one-third the copper of an electric vehicle right on the screen right now is a website copper.org right um, I hope you can see the URL everyone watching this video needs to do their own independent research I'm just telling you some of the things I've looked at you'll see that in a conventional vehicle let's use the cursor here you'll see that conventional vehicles have 18 to 49 pounds of copper each 18 to 49 pounds of copper would it shock you to know that in a battery electric vehicle right not a hybrid an EV you have 183 pounds of copper folks that's more than three times the copper let's do the math think about it now and we haven't even gotten to buses and bigger vehicles that you know will soon be widespread given our focus on the environment these days just think about 183 pounds of copper for every EV on the road 
for every EV that's coming, right? That's three times the copper being used right now per car. Three times. Just think about the demand. Let's talk about buses. Did you know that a battery electrified bus has 814 pounds of copper? You can imagine how fast this is going to spread. An environmentally conscious city is talking about you know, making the world a more environmentally safe place for their children. Someone then says, hey, you know what? My Neo is a great car. EVs are all over the street. Other cities have cut down on pollution by having EV buses. Let's go the EV bus route. Folks, every battery electrified bus is going to have 800 or so pounds of copper in it. So, don't get me wrong. I love gold. Love it. I love silver. I love it. But when you're talking about the precious metals in 2021, shouldn't you also be talking about copper? Right? Copper is already valuable. You've heard of people going into houses and stripping out the copper wiring. What happens when suddenly EVs take off? They take off. And understand, whether the winning brand is Tesla, whether it's Rivian, whether it's Xpeng, whether it's Neo, if you are in copper, you're benefiting. You just want the market to take off. So let's bring a name here that I consider to be an investment opportunity, right? And that is Freeport McMoran, right? Understand, one of the reasons I'm making this video is because Stocks are down today, right? It's because you want to talk about upside when a stock is having a mundane day or a mundane week because you don't want to chase profits. The bargains are when the price is cheap, right? What I want people to do is to do their own research about this stock. Understand the symbol is FCX, right, on the New York Stock Exchange. This is Freeport McMoran. Let's talk about it a little bit. Now, in this world where EV buses are about to have more than 800 pounds of copper each, right, each bus, where EV cars are going to have around 180 pounds of copper each. Understand that Freeport McMoran right now has probable reserves totaling 116 billion pounds of copper. 116 billion pounds of copper. In my opinion, this is worth it for just that alone. Of course, it also has 29.6 million ounces of gold, right? The gold is almost just gravy here. You're getting one of the world's foremost copper producers because, of course, Freeport McMoran owns the Grassberg Mineral District in Indonesia, right? A huge copper field, right? Huge. I don't believe most people understand that when you're talking about EVs, you're talking about increased demand 
for copper. I don't think they've figured it out. So for the people who have, and again, you want to think for yourself. You want to do your own research. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I've owned FCX for a bit now, and it's been great. And like Bitcoin, I feel that FCX is in the early innings. Understand, maybe you have a friend or two who owns an electric vehicle. Right? Maybe someone in your circle owns a Tesla. Folks, that's the future. Understand, the service records for Tesla, because EVs have fewer moving parts than combustion engine conventional autos, right? The service costs, the repair costs are far lower in EVs. Now that they're being mass produced, the price point is dropping. Environmentally, an EV is much better than a conventional car. So as EVs take off, and understand, they'll have even a bigger impetus. Right? Tesla has a self-driving feature. Our relationship with cars are going to change as cars become more autonomous driving. And as we find ourselves traveling more because of the convenience, right? Now, if you're tired, if you're feeling like leaning back in the chair and reclining, maybe you don't drive yourself across town. But I believe as the economy opens back up from this COVID pandemic, as people start to go back to work, as they start to drive to visit the family members across town who've been under quarantine for months, I expect the electric vehicle market to take off. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against investing in NEO. I own some NEO stock. But my point to you is, you don't have to pick the brand that wins in the space. You just have to pick the precious metal that's going to benefit greatly by dozens of pounds per car. And I believe one of the winners in the space is going to be copper. Because I believe that I've invested in FCX, I encourage people to look at copper stocks, look at their reserves, look at their cost of production, consider any political risk involved. But my point to you is copper is hot now even with FCX down a little bit today, I believe it's going to be even hotter tomorrow. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. And again, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Please do not consider this to be investment advice. I want everyone watching my videos to think for themselves. Thanks for stopping by.